Hi guys, Smithical here, and welcome to the ninth round of this career mode series, and today we're in Silverstone. Just going back to the last race, we finished in 6th position, which was a very good result for us. We also had our best qualifying of the season as well, we got into Q3 for the first time. So yeah, hopefully we can carry on the improvement here at Silverstone. I mean, it's going to be hard because of the Maggots and Beckett's complex on the pad, but I'll try my best to get a good result and hopefully carry on the recent points finishes we had in Canada and Austria. But as you can see, we're in practice now, and we were about three temps up on our sector two time. So if we keep it together for the last couple of corners, we should be able to improve on our 39.2. We just exit the last turn now, and we come over the line and we do a 38.9. And that put us in 11th position. So we beat our teammate who finished in 17th. So it's a very good practice session for us. Into Q1 now, and as you can see, it's heavy wet conditions. And I decided to get a lap in pretty early just because I don't want to get held up in these heavy wet conditions. And up the top left, Maldonado did a 47.6, but he's going to get jumped by Adrian Sutil, who did a 46.3. And we're going to come towards the line now, and we do a 47.4. And that put us in third position. And as you can see, it's a very weird qualifying. Kobayashi, Bianchi, Ericsson got into Q2 and my teammate got knocked out in Q1 so obviously that's pretty pleasing and it's quite weird to see two Caterhams and the Marussia in Q2 but into Q2 now and as you can see we put the intermediate tyres on just because the track's getting better and we're holding someone up, I don't know who that is but to be honest I don't really care and we're going to come to the line now and we do a 43.6 which puts us in 11th position. It's a bit disappointing because, you know, we should be quicker than Maldonado in the Lotus. But, you know, if we can get a good start going into turns 1, 2 and 3, then we should pick up a few places, knowing that the AI got about 20 miles an hour on the first lap. Then, yeah, hopefully we can. And as the five lights show, Lights out and away we go here at Silverstone. And we get a decent start. We look like we're already gaining on Maldonado coming into turn one now. And we should get past Kimi as well on the run through turns two. And then coming towards turn three, we look like we're going to get past Hulkenberg, Bottas and Ricciardo. And then we're going to try and dive it up the inside of Jensen Button, which we do. And then we just get brake checked by Rosberg, which, to be honest, he probably thought I was Lewis Hamilton, but I'd like to remind him that Lewis Hamilton don't drive a Toro Rosso. And anyway, we're going to try and get past Rosberg now, into this left-hander, which we do. And to be honest, we've had a very good start. We started 11th, and we've got up to 4th in a few corners, so it's very pleasing. I know that the AI go about 30 mile an hour, but it's still quite nice, you know, to get from 11th to 4th hopefully we can challenge Jensen although to be honest I pretty much doubt it because obviously you know as you've seen the AI seem to pull away from us after we sort of hold the guys behind up I don't know why maybe it's just because we're in the Toro Rosso and that ain't that quick but we're going to try our best to get ne near Jensen and we're going to tr have to try and keep Rosberg behind as well because obviously the m he's in the Mercedes which is the fastest car on the grid and he had a look but he was never going to pass on the outside of Stowe and we just keep Rosberg behind for these couple of corners as we're going to go on now to lap 2 of this Grand Prix lap 4 now and Team Radio So Button's got a problem with his brakes and hopefully we can close the gap to him. And lap 5 now and we close the gap a little bit to Jensen Button but it wasn't enough to challenge him for that third position as we're in the pits. And we're going to put a set of prime tyres on. It's going to be interesting to see where we come out. You know, hopefully we don't get held up because we obviously want to challenge Jensen with his because he has a problem with his brakes and Vern's passed us and it looks like 
Jules Bianchi is going to get past us as well. So we're down to 17th position. So we need to make up some positions. The end of lap 6. And there's a load of cars pitting. And it'll be interesting to see who has pitted. You can see the orange dot is my teammate. And there's a four car train there in the pits. So we're going to come into turn 1 now. And that's Jensen. I think that's Jensen Button. And we're going to dive it up the inside. And we're past Jensen Button for 10th position. So that's hopefully could be third but on lap 7 so as you can see there's some more cars in the pits it's going to be interesting to see where we end up we might get jumped by a couple of cars as you can see there's a four car train coming out the pits so we might lose the position to a couple of them as we make a mistake and that we might lose the position to Magnussen as he squeezes us but we're going to keep that position but we've lost a p well three positions to Rosberg, a Red Bull, and the Ferrari head of the Red Bull. And then coming towards this corner, and we get all out of shape, and that's going to give the momentum to Magnussen, and he's going to try and get past us round the outside. But we're going to have the inside line, and we're going to keep sixth position in this Grand Prix. So we're on the last lap now of this Grand Prix, lap 13, and as you can see, Rosberg is 15 seconds up the road. So it just shows that we didn't have the pace to keep up with Nico. But the other Nico, Nico Hulkenberg, was challenging us. But he didn't have the speed to really get past us on that straight, the Anger straight. So we're going to come home now in sixth position. Equal our best result of the season. And another, another eight points, which is pretty pleasing. And these last couple of races, we've really dominated our teammate. I mean, he needs to up his game in Hockenheim. And you can see he's finished 13th, so it was a pretty poor result for John Eric Vern. I know he qualified in about 20th position, but still, he'd have thought he'd have done a little bit better than that. So, let's see where we are in the points. And we're 10th now, we've got 26 points. John Eric Vern's got 10. So, we're beating him quite comfortably in the Drivers' Championship. And as you can see, in the constructors with 12 points ahead of McLaren so hopefully you've enjoyed the episode leave a like and I'll see you in Hockenheim